What's going on boys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. It's good to see you guys. Oh, no, it's a little windy. Now hold on. The trek to the garage. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, you guessed it, boys. It is garage modification time. Actually, no, just more demolishing. Uh, but the reason for it is because I finally got the seat rails for the E92, which means I can install the seat. And I also want to install the lip. I want to install the exhaust. And I got this ex I got this exhaust as well. It's a Remus. And then I got the hood. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to start off by removing a bunch of shelves and stuff like that. Uh, possibly, possibly this shelving, but then more than likely I'm gonna remove some of this shelving to make room for the two car garage door. I got my dad over here, he's gonna help me with that, but I wanna take this shelving out and work my way down a little bit, possibly this shelving as well, but I'm not quite sure on that. Uh, but for now, uh, I do wanna remove this shelving and um, like I said, maybe that one, but I'll get my dad in here, we'll figure out what we're gonna do. And then after that, I'd like to start on installing as much stuff as I can on the E92. So let's start deconstructing this garage. All right, boys, so got a lot of this. We got this platform and that platform taking out our shelving. Go over there, removing some nails. Um, overall, it hasn't been too bad. It's just the guy who built these things. He used about 8,000 nails in there. What we think is he went a little, uh, a little crazy with the nail gun, if you know what we mean. But slowly but surely, I tried to get some time lapses, but uh, <clears throat> memory card was full. Didn't know that. <laughs> oh, slowly but surely, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right, boys, I got a little bit of explaining to do, kind of, but like you saw what I, my pops and I just did. I did some more work today. It's a new day. I did some more work, but it's like pulling nails and arranging stuff. You guys don't want to see that. It's not like, it's not like demolition or anything like that. It's literally pulling nails because if you don't know, and I'm not sure if I said it right now or if I've said it in this video, but wood is at an all time premium and it's like so expensive. Uh, and there's a few other projects we have in mind just for the house. So I wanted to save the wood that we were taking, uh, that was used to make all the shelving. So what I did was start pulling all the nails and stockpiling it. I don't know where else to put it, but we have a good little supply of wood, lumber, timber, whatever you want to call it. The next thing I have to do is clear this shelf behind me right back there i have to clear that and take that one down and i'm saving this one for last because you know i got my bonsai trees going here and you got to i mean that's their little habitat man i've been growing these things for like six eight months now something like that i think these guys aren't doing too hot oh well but eventually bonsai trees <laughs> So, like I said, I pulled a bunch of nails today, cleaned out all those pieces of wood, arranged them. There's a few more right here that are absolute pain in the, uh, they're super pain in the butt to get the nails out of, so I may just toss those. But now I'm just going to remove everything from this set of shelves and take this apart. And then, man, the plan is still to bring that shelving and relocate it over here and then put the air compressor up against that wall. Um, I'll probably only be able to use like two thirds of that shelf to mount it up to that wall. Um, but again, this wall right here, the tall one, 
uh, we are going to be taking down. So it will be this three shelf shelving all the way up until like where it meets this little workbench area. <sighs> a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Man, I hope that was as satisfying to watch in a uh, in a time lapse as it was to do. Because, God, it feels good to have all those things taken off the wall. <laughs> I mean, dude, it feels so much bigger in here. So much more room for activities. I had to throw that in there one time. I mean, just had to. But now I still have to pull all the nails from these. I gotta figure out what to do with all these because when I wanna paint and do everything in here, uh, there's just so much stuff I'm gonna have to figure out how to arrange. And then I don't know if I'm gonna tackle it. I might wait for the pops to show up. But removing this wall, this is basically like the last thing I have to do. Well, no, I sorry, I'm sorry. Remove this wall, then remove this shelf and bring this shelf over to here. That's, then I'll be good to go, but but I need to start painting at some point too. So I have some uh, organizing to do. I gotta get, I gotta make sure I get all my ducks in a row before I do something that I should have done beforehand or vice versa or something. So, and then I do have someone coming over to give me a quote on framing this out to be a two car garage door and moving this over. I got a price for a new garage door already uh, but the biggest thing for framing this out to be a two car garage door is the foundation and getting the cement work done because you know, low cars. You wanna make sure the cement work is done properly and you know, I don't have a big lip or anything like that. But, all right boys, I am, that's where this video is gonna end. I'm sorry that there, this was just shop stuff. And if you like this, let me know. If you have suggestions, let me know. I do want to include this because this is going to be where I spend most of my time here. And you know, it's like a garage makeover type of deal anyway. So I want to include it, but uh, let me know if you like these. Let me know, just let me know, give me some feedback on this style of video. Um, and then still, I have so many parts for the E92. I have so many. Uh, I mean, that car is literally ready to dang near not be finished, but like, really close once I get everything installed. Uh, so I have a ton of stuff coming up. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, guys, smash that subscribe. I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.